Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video and in this video I will show you everything you need to know about the ICT Fair Valley Gap How to trade it, where and when to look for it and specifically how to know if the Fair Valley Gap will actually hold And you will learn everything in this video So subscribe to my YouTube channel and join my Discord with the link below in the description So let's go to the video So as you can see on this chart we got a Euro USD chart on the 1 minute now, the fair value gap is actually fractal, so it forms on all time frames across all markets. So, as you can see, if we zoom into this leg, we got fair value gap here, fair value gap here, fair value gap here, and one here. Those were bearish fair value gaps, and if we zoom in here, we got a bullish fair value gap right here. Now, what fair value gap actually is? As you saw, fair value gap is a pattern that forms from three candles. First candle, second candle, and third candle. So, as you can see, right here, the first candle opened and closed right here then the second candle ran down and left a gap when this candle opened and be after this candle closed as you can see it leaves a gap right here showing us that this is an ICT fair value gap now now you know basic fundamentals what fair value gap is and as you can see if we zoom in even more the, the midpoint of the fair value gap is what we call consequential encouragement and and this is the midpoint of fair value gap right here okay so now you know all the things that fair value gap consists of and now we can go where and when should it form now fair value gap can be used in a lot of different strategies and models such as 2022 model or silver bullet and I've got both of those covered on my previous YouTube video so go watch that after you finish this one so, in this example, price swap liquidity and form a fair value gap with breaking this short term high. So, we got a break off, break off short term high here, or market structure shift, and it for, the price form a fair value gap right here. Now, this is also a fair value gap, and this is also a fair value gap, but as I said, it has to be in the 50% for this model, so 2022 model. And as you can see, after liquidity sweep, price forms and it also in our time windows between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. New York local time so we would take long right here and we would write it up to the opposing liquidity which would be anyone right here now let's go to the other example where I showed it how to use it in the silver bullet strategy so as you can see right here we got our silver bullet on the June 16th on Friday and as you can see before the silver bullet we swept liquidity at exactly 10 a.m. New York local time so this wouldn't be valid because we just swept liquidity right and if we use my indicator right here my, it would actually tell you to long right here but if you use what I'm telling you right now and pair with the indicator itself this will improve your trading so much right so it swept liquidity exactly at 10 a.m. with this candle right and then we created a Judas swing above it and then we broke down with displacement breaking this short term low which wouldn't be necessary but it's good confirmation right we create many fair value gaps but as ICT said we take entry from the closest one right so we take entry right here hypothetically on our paper trading accounts and then this is 10 pips we would take profit right at this candle right here now this is the whole silver bullet session and this is the trade you get it's easy once you implement everything you know into your trading right so to summarize we serve liquidity bef that was formed before 10 a.m exactly at 10 a.m and then if you turn on the indicator again it shows you this red confirmation candle so this means that you are looking for shorts now confirmed by liquidity price action and my indicator itself and if you take entry from the closest fvg right here stop loss at 10 pips and take profit at 10 pips you would smash that trade and you can ride it to the opposing liquidity which would be around here so now we can go over how to actually validate the fair value gap and how to know if it will actually hold. So let's hop on to the next. So ICT said in one of his 2023 mentorship videos that if bodies of candles respect the 50% of the fair value gap or consequential encouragement, then this shows that the, pr the fair value gap is strong and that it will most likely will hold and deliver price what it should be delivered. So in this example, we had a 50% or the consequential encouragement right here, right? Let's extend it and bodies don't close below it, right? That means they respect consequential encouragement and we see how price is delivered. And same here, right? 50% of this fair value gap 
we got concert encouragement, respected by cows, right? And price goes up and delivers high prices. Now, price comes down, and where does it go to? We have a free value gap here, and we see we can go to replay tool actually to show you better how it would be in real time. So we go, we go, we go, and as you can see, price respects the 50% or consequential extremes of this lower free value gap right here. It respects that doesn't close below it, as you can see, it closed below this, so it violates the rules. Um, of the 50% and then goes lower and respects this doesn't close below it and let's see if we get a higher price delivery and we come back pull back and we see a big push up now this shows you how important this rule is now you don't need this if your strategy isn't based around this but this could be another confluence in your trade if this occurs right so this is all for this video it was quick and i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something new again subscribe to my youtube channel and like the video and join my discord with the link below in the description and good luck and stay safe we'll see you in the next video